Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy Tactics Advance with Jake. I'm sorry for that sudden cutoff, but I did not mean to do that last mission in the last one. I meant to come here. And uh, Jake, you were talking about Metroid Prime? Yeah, um... Which is not this game? Yes. Yes, obviously. Uh, hang on though, is there like a cutscene? Yeah. Thing? Yeah. Oh, it's Shara. Wait, I know you. You're Shara. Where's Ritz? Right She's behind you. What, is she behind me? No, I'm in front of you. Oh! <laughs> Long time no see. You seem to be doing well. Hi, Ritz. You, um, know about the bounty on my head, right? Don't worry, I'm not in a clan for the money. She's not in it for the money, money, money. And I certainly wouldn't turn in a friend for some gill. Us meeting was an accident. We're not after your bounty. We're here on some other business. Stop hiding and come on out. We know you're the no-good swindling clock forgers. They probably think they can trade you in for a pardon. Get that bounty. I thought he said get that booty for a second. <laughs> oh, Deal with the others as you see fit. Hey, I wouldn't mind getting some of that booty. Get that booty. Deal with the others as they, as like, is like seen fit. Which I actually won't be, like, saying what I want to because I don't. Yeah, I don't want to. So, wait. What are the laws? No sharpshoot, no control. That makes sense. So now, I'm gonna be using two totem in this battle. Can I say we Can I say what I wanted to say about uh, After the Totema. Okay. Oh shit, nice shot. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah. crap. She had 360 no scoped him. She literally jumped off the step there and shot upwards. <laughs> that was sweet. <laughs> oh that was awesome. Sharu is the juggler's name. It'd be funny if instead of juggler there was like typoed and his name was Gigolo. Oh god. Aw oh, man, you and your firebomb, you damn jugglers. Alright, are you ready for this next totema? Yes. This is Adralamach. This is the third totem that we found. The Numu was the second one, so. Yeah, well, that place has been disintegrated. Yeah, by like wind or something, like shit. His foul breath. Dude, does he use mouthwash? No, but he doesn't brush with crest either. Oh god. Is this Prince Mute who's after you really are a mute? Yeah, I think so. He's not too happy about me being here. Well, if we know that our wimpy Mute is Prince here, then we can be pretty sure who changed Ivalice. Mute doesn't like the other world, he's happy here. And I'm his enemy, since I want to go back home. So you know this is Mute's dream world, and you still want to destroy it? I'd have thought this world was better for you, too. Better for me? How? People don't pick on you here or call you New Kid, do they? Oh, we should have named our character New Kid. Oh god, that'd be hilarious. Wouldn't oh. you like to change things if you had the chance? Your brother, for instance? Oh man, can you imagine if we named ourselves New Kid? Sorry guys, but we are gonna have to just start the series because we want to name a kid New Kid. No. Whoa, whoa, you don't get to decide this stuff. I know, I know. The I fans know. decide. I know. Oh wait, no, I turned my fan off, shit. <laughs> Ritz, are you sure you don't want to go home? Ask me a thousand times and my answer will still be no. How about a thousand and one? Yeah, right. Why? I just don't understand. What is there not to understand? Why do you want to stay here so much? I can understand why Mute would want to, I guess, but you? 
that that's none of your beeswax, Ren. Considering if like bees even make wax, I know that they make honey, but what about wax? Yes. Okay. I don't even know if I should be using the new Moo Totem for this battle because like everyone's pretty much dead. All that's left is one guy. It's like overkill the one guy there. But I think his only affects MP. Oh well. Overkill the one guy, no one really cares. Ultima. Look at this thing. It's like a satellite cannon. Yeah, it hits their MP, I believe. Yeah. But it's okay, that guy's gonna be dead in a second. If I could just reach him. Shara might kill him with her sniping skills. Yeah, dude, just like reach for the fucking sky. Oh yeah, this guy might be dead. Reach for the sky. Oh, he's very close. If I used my um, one of my ninja's attacks on him, it would have probably killed him. Then why didn't you? Because I wanted to use a double sword technique on him. Oh. Uh, he was disabled, so I wasn't worried about time. Oh, yeah. Bam. Now I don't have to use anyone except for my main team anymore, because I've shown off all the totemas except for the last two, which are the Vier and Human, which we don't have yet. Yay. The Vier one will be coming up soon, though, I think. Mm. I remember the Human one was the biggest pain to do, because uh, I think the Queen uses like the power of the world to create like a human protector for Mute, and he the guy's like super overpowered. Well, if they come looking for us, we'll just have to turn you in. Yes, I think that's what we'd probably do. Um, uh, well, I guess I should be leaving. Well, she does smell of elderberries. Yeah, true. Oh man, my character looks so sad. I know, right? I might just join sides with Mute, you know? Then we'd be enemies, got it? You know, Ritz, I think Ren's worried about you. Why not help him? You're no friend of the palace. Why the sudden concern, Shara? Yeah, I know, right? He's cute. Now, if what he says is true, his family is in the other world, and so is yours, Ritz. You don't want to see them or your friends again? I do, but here, I've got something that I don't want to lose. The, the fact that I don't have to dye my hair anymore. I know. It's my hair. This normal, non-white hair. I wasn't joking. That is literally the reason. Hair? Non-white? What do you mean? In the other world, in reality, my hair is pure white. I was born that way. I had to dye it every morning. Don't dyes last more than one night? I know, right? Before I learned how, my mom would do it for me. And that, I couldn't stand it. She was always so sad. She looked like she would cry every time she took out the dye. Ritz. I'd rather be called Whitey Locks than see her face. What did she have to cry about? Her hair was normal. I was the one that should have been crying, not her. I can find family and friends here, but I'd never be able to change things in that world. I'm sure that's how Mute feels too. That just became sad. Yeah. Why can't you find him? Why? Well, he's probably trying very hard not to be found. I don't care, Papa. Get him now. You're the strongest judge in Ivy Lice. I'm doing all I can. We're going to do a search of every town next. Hurry, or the world will break, and then I... Your Highness, please calm down. Master Sid will surely find him. Mama, 
Where is Mama? I shall summon her for you just a moment. Mama, where are you? Ren's being mean to me, Mama. Make him stop. Help. This kid has some serious issues. What was your first clue? Although I do like understand like why he's going through this. But hmm. Must Cadet will go right well, there. I suppose it's something most people would like never get over, so okay. Yeah, that's pretty much true. Yeah. Let's see what happens when we enter Muscadet. I have defeated three Totema for three crystals. And if there's one Totema for each of the races, that means there are only two crystals left. Only two left, and I have no idea where to start looking. Oh, and here's Izelbabia. Why, hello there, and welcome to the Celebrity Club. Hello, Eeyore. Izel! Quite the fuss they're making over you now. I hear you've got a bounty on your head, my friend. Because I'm on Mute or Prince Mute's blacklist. Hmm, that's odd. You seem harmless enough. I'll show you harm! I mean, sorry. I know, right? <laughs> How are you, Ezo? How are things? I'm enjoying the recent lapse in my popularity. All the judges and bounty hunters are after you now. <laughs> wow, thanks for the optimism. Have you looked outside recently? It's quite the ruckus out there, I tell you. Huh? What do you mean? The judges are searching the clans one by one. Searching the clans? What for? Looking for you, I'd wager. You're a slippery fish, see? They're getting desperate. The palace is rather eager, shall we say, to get you. What about you, Easel? Why don't you turn me in? And help the palace? Not a chance. Any enemy of the judge is a friend of mine. Nice to know there's still somebody on my side. Just don't let them catch you, okay? You watch yourself. Is that a threat, Easel? I'll take you down. I know, right? See you around, perhaps at my shop. I like how the red mage has been like in deep thought that entire time there. I know, right? <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyways, treasure hunt. I found gauntlets. Oh. Let's check out the pub. Yeah, I got an item. There's really? probably more rumor. Yeah. A serious search. A search of all the clans has begun by orders of Her Majesty the Queen, led by none other than Judge Master Sid himself. It appears the palace is finally getting serious about finding that wanted boy. And that's all the new rumors. Why don't, like, the old rumors, if they're, like, say, like, a month old or so? No. No way. Like, two to three months old? Why don't they just, like, vanish from the list? What? If the rumors are like two or three months old in game time, why don't they just vanish from the list? Because that would suck. Alright then. I should probably switch out Brown's weaponry because I think we're going to make this an earlier episode, so thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy it, and we'll see you all next time. Toodles, everybody. Yeah, bye guys.